Welcome back to another plein air painting adventure. This time a little different, with a voiceover instead of an in video narration, and that's because I had a hiking buddy this time, and it's a little bit awkward filming those videos, especially if someone's around. So this time we went to Fjordland, and the first day we went to Gertrude Saddle, which is I think a five hour return hike, so it's not too long. It involves quite a lot of steep walking up the hill and a bit of rock climbing as well. This is at the saddle. It was amazing. We could see all the way to Milford Sound. So I got out my plein air painting kit and I started painting. While I was painting a scene, I had so many more ideas of little snippets of the scene that I could paint. And lucky me, my hiking buddy was actually quite tired and he took a couple of naps. So I had a bit more time to do another little study up there. down we went just as the sun went down as well. The next day we went to Lake Marion which is another beautiful little hike up there. It goes next to the river for the first bit and then it's just a little bit of a bush walk but once you reach the lake it's amazing. Wonderful views, beautiful mountains. We walked around the lake a bit to have a better view of these mountains in particular and I decided to paint them. Afterwards we went for a quick little trip to Milford Sound just to look around and it was quite cool. There were no tourists, but also no Kias, which was a bit sad. Here's me finishing the little studies up in the studio. I actually forgot to bring my yellow ochre while I was plein air painting, so all my greens were a bit of a challenge because I didn't have any yellow or anything to mix them up with. I think I bought gold paint, so that was a bit strange, but I fixed them in the studio and I think they came out quite nice. Now you might ask why do you make such an effort to bring out your painting kit when you can just take photos of the place and then paint it in the studio? Well, having these little paintings is just so much more than a photo. It's an entire memory that I've manifested and I can hang it on my wall and cherish this memory that I had with my friend in the mountains and I can cherish it forever and that's very special to me. That's why I do this. <laughs> 